I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. FBI Director James Comey says sometimes the agency has to choose between bad and worse. Hey, so do voters! The Rockies and Padres were playing a spring game last week in Arizona when all the players hit the deck to avoid a swarm of bees passing through. Oh, by the way, if this ever happens to you, the number one thing to remember is that when being surrounded by bees, don't act like a flower. Thinking he might run for president? California Governor Jerry Brown. I, I would say that it could never happen, but, well, Donald Trump. Carl's Jr. and Hardee's say they will no longer show sexy burger girl ads. Meaning you now have absolutely zero reason to go to Carl's Jr. or Hardee's. Scientists have proven you can grow potatoes on Mars. So Matt Damon was right all along! It very well could have been the world's deadliest photobomb. Bianca Dickinson was just trying to take a nice photo of her two-year-old little girl, Molly, in front of some wheat fields when Australia's second deadliest snake, an eastern brown, slithered into the picture frame. Dickinson didn't realize the snake was there until a few seconds after she snapped the picture. Luckily, the deadly reptile did not want any attention and kept to itself. The mom of four quickly grabbed her youngest before disaster could literally strike. Both Molly and the snake remain alive and well. Dickinson later told reporters she feels sick just looking at the photos. This, mom and dad, this is why you should probably cut back on the picture taking. Okay, actually, I'm just tired of seeing pics of your kids on Facebook every three minutes, but hey, you know what, whatever works. A 16-year-old boy in Bosnia just broke a world record by smashing 111 concrete blocks with his head in 34 seconds. When asked why he did it, he replied, Tuesday. ABC has canceled time after time after only five episodes. Probably because you can get the entire storyline in less than two hours in a 1979 movie titled Time After Time. Alabama's Eufaula High School is very clear in its prom rules. No taking grandma, unless your grandma happens to be under the age of 20 which has left senior Bryce Maine in a bit of a spot since he's already asked his grandmother, Catherine Maine, to be his date to the special event because she was not able to go to her own prom. But the school says no way, insisting that for safety reasons, prom guests need to be all about the same age. What? what? Oh, well, but reportedly the school board's also afraid that if they let Bryce bring Nanny in all seriousness, well, then others are going to want to do it as a joke at future proms. The main family's furious about this. They say grandmother has already bought a dress for the April 8th dance. Fellow students at Bryce's school are already pushing the Let Nanny Go to Prom hashtag on social media. One Twitter user notes what others are thinking. Of course the rules exist for good reasons, but common sense exists to tell them when exceptions should be made. <laughs> common sense? When it comes to school rules? Wow, you're naive. I mean, good luck with that, but you know, why do you think we have zero intelligence policies to begin with? It's so the school staff doesn't have to think. Crayola announced on Friday that it was retiring the color dandelion from its 24-count box. Somehow this was big news on Friday, and no one's exactly sure why. The number one movie at the weekend box office was the animated feature Boss Baby. Wow, just imagine how awful the rest of the movies opening over the weekend must have been. Vin Diesel says Fate of the Furious will be the best film you ever saw. And really, what reason could Vin possibly have for lying? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Hey, click that little bell next to the subscribe button, that way we can notify you when I post new videos. For more weird news anytime or to download my free mobile app, you can visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar.